Hey everybody, it's Beth, and today I'm going to show you bone rolling with the calves and why it's so important to make sure that you do some type of self-care and recovery for the calf muscles, okay? Whether you're working out or you're just walking around in high heels, it doesn't matter. We all get really tight in the calf. And so I'm going to show you a foam rolling technique that I like to use and I have my clients use. You can get any type of foam roller. This one has some little um, knobbies on it that's kind of more like a deep tissue. And the first move you can do is just put your calves over the roller. I'm going to scoot up a little bit so you can see kind of at the belly of the calf and start rolling. You can lift yourself up a little bit and make it kind of a core workout if you want. And you can also lean forward to put more pressure onto the roller. So that's what it's all about is applying pressure. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little tougher by stacking one leg and putting a little more pressure just on that one side. Okay, and then you can lean forward. I like to do this where you just lean forward and then, you know, go back and forth and side to side when you feel those knots. You're looking for those pressure points. Okay, then you can come on over to the side. We want to make sure we get the peroneals, which are on the side of the calf. So you can go here, and then if that's enough pressure, then stay there. If you want a little more, go ahead and stack the legs, and you can even lift the hips and go into like a side plank, okay, where you're really working that core by holding yourself up. Okay, I'm going to slide it up so I'll stay in the visual field. Here you go. Right there. And then go side to side when you feel those knots. Okay, so you're going to make sure you do the opposite side as well. Then I'm going to show you another one that you can do for the shin. So you can actually um, do both at the same time where you're kind of doing like a tuck and roll type of move, okay, and kind of roll on to the side a little bit, okay, and then you can also stack the legs, cross one leg over the shin that you're rolling, and apply more pressure that way. So that works really good too. So give it a try. Let me know how it goes. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. This is Good Health on the Go. I'll see you later.